Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with my powder room makeover. My husband and I, we decided to jump on our powder room this week because this is a room or space in our house that we have not actually touched. We purchased our home about four years ago and we have plans here. This is my um, home project binder here and if you've been with me a while, you know that my husband and I, we plan out all the projects that we wanna do around our home. We put it in this binder so that when we're ready to jump on a project, we can simply go to the binder and work on it. Problem being with the powder room, we planned this project out so long ago that you know now our kind of desires have changed so we had to kind of redo our plan but you know it was not a problem it was kind of a simple process for us but again a project home a, a home project binder is a great way to keep yourself organized with your home projects now for my new subscribers I just want to share with you that this is my home office downstairs and the reason why I'm sharing this space is because it's right next to the powder room if you look down that little breezeway there there that's where the powder room is right to the right hand side so in saying that we wanted to keep with the colors now in my home you all know I love neutrals I love doing all neutral backgrounds with my furniture my walls and things like that and bringing in color slightly with accessories I'm not a big color girl but I do bring it in with accessories because that's a less expensive way to do it you know if you paint your walls and things that can be more expensive now this is the door to the powder room and so definitely what I want to do is I want to show you a before picture so you can see how hideous it is and then take you on the journey of how we kind of gave it a makeover so let's get started okay so here is the hideous before picture this room has not been touched but we purchased this house four years ago we have not touched this room it has that pea green color that I like green but not this color green there's no crown molding in here which you know it, I think that adds a lot to your home I was not inspired till this point to actually take action on this room my husband and I we were like we're just going to do it the things in here are typically the things that were builders grade I don't mind the pedestal pedestal sink but I don't like this here this faucet is just not me and I you know the mirror is not me the lighting's not me and I feel like it just needs a lot of work so my husband and I jumped on it and we want to share with you our journey of kind of making this room over and I'll show you how we did it for around $800 um, it took us to do the whole project so let's jump right in Okay, so here is my new powder room. We absolutely love it. It's very neutral, and I understand this is not for everybody, but you know, your home has to represent what you love and what you feel good with, and I like clean, very fresh spaces because it helps me think it just gives me a nice relaxing atmosphere and it's what I love you know I'm not a, a, just into a lot a lot of color I like touches here and there but the, for the most part I'm a neutral girl and I love this we went with the mountain smoke gray from Valspar from Lowe's and it was great because it only cost us like $38 for the can of paint which wasn't bad and the great thing about it was it was a nice contrast with all of the white that we had in the room because as you can see we put up beadboard and molding and things like that and so it, it gave really a a nice look to that and you know I, I love the color and I love the color because it goes well with the gray tones that are in my office because I have a slightly lighter tone gray in there and it really worked out great now the bead board my husband came up with this idea he thought that it would be a great idea it only cost us two hundred and four dollars to put it all up and he actually did the labor part of it so that's how we saved money along with another seventy dollars to put the molding up top but I think it adds so much to the the room the walls were so tall it needed to break up somehow and give it some dimension and some texture and that's how we chose to do it and so he basically cut in did the molding and painted and then I painted the walls and in the end working as a team it all came together and we love the look and we just love how fresh it is how clean it is and how simple it is it works for us now the next thing we had to do was get our light fixture in order along with mirrors and accessories and things like that and we found this at Lowe's for $85 now the thing is it was a two piece you buy this one piece which was only $24 and we were happy with that and it was a nice clean look um, it like chrome that we love and we wanted it to be like that now where the cost came in was for the bulbs we had saw them on a display and we we're like that's it but when we got to the section they were like $20 per bulb and you know me and him we can be a little tight wad sometime and we we're like oh that's $60 just for the bulbs but then when we looked around we really truly could not find anything else that we really liked and we went with it and we said we might as well get what we like because we'll be looking at it and you know we don't want to have any regrets and so we were happy with that now the mirror was a hundred dollars at my one of my favorite stores at home I love that store lately and 
And so I thought it was a great fit for this room. It really was the style that I love. We were keeping the pedestal sink, but we changed out the hardware for $75, the, um, the faucet I mean, for $75 and that came from Lowe's and I thought it fit um, you know, a lot better. Along with the plates, we wanted something that was shine and crisp and that was like six bucks. It was the lower end. It wasn't that expensive um, from Lowe's also. And so we use Lowe's for a lot of kind of the uh, stuff like that. We just, that's what's closest to us and I'm not sponsored by them, but that is what is closest to us. So uh, we use them a lot. And so we love how that you know also turned out and so then the next thing was basically to break into our accessories which all the accessories I got from at home I wanted to keep them white crisp and simple now the little washcloths I got from Target you can get them for a couple packs for a couple dollars for I think 10 or something like that I can't remember but it wasn't it was three bucks or so it wasn't expensive and they're just for looks it's not anything that anyone's gonna use so um, we were happy with that but you know it really just was keeping everything clean uh, fresh I was very happy about how we had the shelves that you know really just kind of flanked over the toilet and then it wasn't in the way but it gave me some decor and each of the shelves were $18 at Lowe's so that wasn't bad they're very sturdy and they can hold the accessories the uh, frames were $13 at Ross which was a great price because they're $50 at Michaels and so we really liked how they played off of the mirror there so all of that um, really came together at least we love how it came together we kept things simple on the sink there just some you know hand soap and things like that so we didn't want to kind of overdo it with that section there so so the, basically, this was the makeover. It was something very simple. Again, we did everything for about $800, but with putting beadboard and molding up, we thought that we, you know, stayed under a great budget. We're happy with how it turned out. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my quick little video of my makeover of our powder room. I hope you all are doing great. I'll see you at the next video, and I hope you're doing wonderfully, friends. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.